It is once again that time of the year in which we go to Tampa to the Florida RV Super Show, 2022 Florida RV Super Show. Today is industry day, so everything is kind of quiet, so let's see what they have. Well, here we go. We've seen this black series online many times, and I think it is the first time they come here to the Tampa RV Show, so let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna be begin here with the HQ17 Black Series. These are meant for out uh, off-roading, and uh, I do believe that it is an Australian company. So here we have an outdoor kitchen with a lot of prep area here. We've got a two-burner uh, domestic cooktop, nice sink here. Does that drain somewhere? Yeah, it does. It does. It apparently, goes to the gray tank. And we even have some drawers here. And it's on a slide, so boom, it, it just it, it just stores right there inside the unit. Let's let's come inside here. We have a front bed here. It's it's not exactly a walk around bed, but you have a lot of uh, space here on the sides. Uh, Oh, look at that. It's a push drawer kind of thing. And then here you have more storage that it's a pass-through storage to down there. This is probably wardrobe closet here. And uh, well, I really like, I really like this, these types of doors. Some nice speakers there. Yeah, everything is that uh, push concept, which I haven't, I haven't seen before. Look at the size of these windows. These picture windows are awesome. They're awning style, so they will go up, and they will go up a lot. This, this style goes up a lot. And I see they have some blackout shades here, and this would be just a, a screen, a bug screen. Very nice. Very nice um, uh, overhead, what do you call this? Uh, skylight. We have some storage here on top of the kitchen. Here we have another cooktop with a sink, both together. This is probably for filtered, filtered water. And down here, there we go, we have more drawer. This is not very deep, but this here at the bottom, I, I, I assume this is, oh, look at that. That's your water pump down there and the, the, the water filter. So it's not, a, it's not really storage, it's more like a, like a service access area. I don't know where you would put things like your pots and pans in here. Let me see if we have some storage down here. No, here we oh we have a subwoofer. So this is gonna this is gonna sound good. This is gonna be a good sounding stereo system. And you know I'm a little bit of an audiophile, so um, that's really good news. Here we have the headquarters. Look at this control panel, and uh, I guess you can. These are all your your fuses and all your controls. This is different, definitely different from anything, anything we've seen elsewhere. Your gray water, your black water, yeah. Very nice fire alarm. We have more storage up here. Kind of, kind of shallow, but not bad. It's a very nice and it's comfortable. It's just, it's really for two. Um, you wouldn't really fit four people here, but then you have bunk beds in the back. So for a family with children, you just have to eat, eat two at a time. This is a great domestic a refrigerator, two-way. It will work on propane and 120 volts. And here we have a, a relatively large wet bath. Let me turn off. Oh, it has, oh, look at that, it has lights. And the fan. I don't know why they have the fan on if the vent is, off, is closed. But yeah, as far as wet baths go, this is very nice. It does have a pedal here in the bottom. I don't know exactly what that is for. Oh, and look at that. That's the sound of a porcelain toilet. I like it. I, I, I like the look. I like the, the build quality, the manufacturing. What is this stuff? This is probably light controls. Yes, it is. Light controls here. It does have a regular domestic loud uh, air conditioner, but hey, nothing is perfect. 
All right, let's see some of the other units here. Okay, let's check out the HQ21 here, and then we'll do the HQ15 and the HQ19. And this one is the largest one of them all. Here you have this uh, outdoor uh, kitchen as well, and this, I don't know what it is because it's locked, and of course it's industry day, so uh, um, not everything is uh, functional. Very nice u shaped and look at all these windows, look at all these windows. If you back in into one of those uh, oceanfront sites or at Red Coconut or, or uh, Camp Golf or, 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 you know, one of those, that would be a beautiful view uh, to have while you are uh, having dinner there. Very nice sink and they even have this, they thought of everything, this surface here so you can put like a, like a, like a dish rack or something. We have a three burner propane and propane oven as well. And then you have uh, the bathroom here. You have the shower on this side. Very, very nice shower. And I like that the, the fan even has lights. And I don't think it's, I don't think this one is plugged in actually. No, it is plugged in. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. And um, here we go. Porcelain toilet. Very nice, very nice bathroom with a sink windows so you can look outside while you are brushing your teeth there and very nice uh, room here in the front very similar deal with the two closets and whatnot all right let's see those other two and then we continue okay let's check out the hq 15 here and then we're gonna check that one out that one i think that's our favorite but let's see this one here oh it even comes with uh, with a solar light this one also has that same uh, outdoor kitchen with a lot of prep space here even even drawers down here this is it's very cool no that's just to access the okay there let's go inside very similar uh, front bed situation here we have the same the same both uh, wardrobe closets by the way they light up i just don't know exactly where the, that light switch is we have uh, uh, on both sides we have lights now do we have usbs here for like charging stuff but well, we do have a power outlet right there and uh, i haven't heard it but i have a feeling that this uh, sound system is going to sound real good with those speakers very similar it's a slightly wider dinette here on this one and then on this side we have the galley with the domestic cooktop and a nice sink here. This one, uh, that, those little refrigerators I'm not too crazy about, but hey, and this one is, if I'm not mistaken, now this is, this is uh, uh, also a, an absorption style refrigerator, it looks like. I don't, I don't see where you would change it from propane yeah, more information uh, we, we shall find out online and that's the thing on industry day here sometimes they don't have a whole lot of like data sheets or anything like that i do see it's a we might be a little bit short uh, uh, when it comes to to power outlets not a whole lot of them this one has a, wet, a dry bath of, of course this is a nice very nice uh, shower enclosure here of course porcelain toilet very nice sink. I like I like the design aesthetics of these trailers. I would like to see maybe perhaps a little deeper storage here, just because. Oh, look at that! Look at those light lights. <laughs> That's very cool. Let's take a look at the larger one here, and this is. Oh, by the way, let me show you here in the front. If you open this up. You have your propane there you can store two 20 pound tanks and then here on this side you have um, a diesel tank and I, I don't know if this is going to be like the batteries where the batteries go more research shall go into this you have this kind of exos exoskeleton bars here where you can probably attach stuff we've seen those And I, I love the, the, the super large windows here. Very similar, you have, of course, a lot of storage down there. Look at that. That's a lot of storage. 
And this is probably the most comfortable one of the bunch. The bed here in the front is very similar, but as you can see, there's, there are lights. The, the closets do light up. A lot of room here. The only thing that I don't see is USB uh, outlets. And uh, let me see. No, I don't see any USB outlets, which could be a deal breaker for something like this. Because you do want to go to sleep with your with your electronic devices, right? Now. This one has a very large, much larger sink. This looks like it could be like a like even a wine rack at some point. This one has deeper storage, very important. A three 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 um, three uh, three burner propane stove and a regular RV oven. Again, narrow dinette. This is this is a, a, a two person unit. Um, I mean this. This dinette will turn into another uh, sleeping surface, most likely, but uh, let's face it, this is a couple's RV, very luxurious, and of course all these are, are, uh, are designed with overlanding in mind to go off-road, you know. Um, here we have the same shower, and, we, and look, look how it closes. It's that is very nice. That is very here. The light switches are all touch control, and um, yeah, porcelain toilet. This one they do have two, and um, now the pièce de résistance. You have a washing machine and a rig of this size, and uh, this feels in the low twenties, probably lengthwise. Although it is uh, the HQ nineteen. I love the, the huge windows. We have LED lights there. Nice uh, awning here. Yeah. Let's continue from the 2022 Florida RV Super Show.